around the age of 10 or so, my brother got involved in a, a community club called uh, Be the Change Fox Valley Peace Jam. I, w- I was honestly pretty jealous. I wanted to be part of it um, by the time I wasn't actually old enough. Um, but the advisor, a incredible man named Alex Golovin, um, let some of us younger folks kind of be involved in the projects and some of the curriculum. And uh, I was just immediately entranced by it. I thought it was such a powerful experience um, on every single level. I thought on the level of the club itself, the community you build with these other youth from, you know, different experiences and, and slightly different backgrounds and viewpoints. Um, it was amazing to work in that kind of community, all, ba- all uh, centered on something in your community that you really believe uh, needs to change. And, uh, and then guided by, um, guided by all these different mentors, including, of course, the Nobel laureates, which are uh, definitely at the heart of Peace Jam, um, but also at the heart of Peace Jam are these advisors, uh, these educators, these community leaders, these adults that, um, that's, that begin these programs in the community itself and guide the youth. When I was in middle school and was not technically old enough at the time, um, and uh, uh, got to meet Rigoberta Menchu. At this time, I was going through um, just a constellation <laughs> of health problems of many kinds. Um, and I went there very excited, um, very hopeful, but also I just was, was in such a, I was in such a dark space. And then doing a service project during this Peace Jam conference, um, Rigoberta, I didn't even know she was on site at this project in particular. She snuck up behind me and she just started talking to me. Um, And I was covered in compost. I was moving stuff around, you know, just like a very like kind of awkward seeming young person. Um, But she stopped and she talked with me for a long time. And um, and in a way that I knew that she, she, she really cared and she really wanted to connect for a few for a few minutes in this space and in this time. Um, and that just cemented my, my love for PSHAM even further because not that it has to be this grand moment with a laureate that you know makes the PSHAM experience, but it just showed me how very much on every single um, aspect of this organization and movement, um, people, people cared about each person involved in it. It guides me a lot in how I how I try to treat people and how I try to understand people. Um, and in a larger context, how I try to understand different problems and situations. It has, at its heart, it really is so much about recognizing value in everyone and in solving broader problems, not seeing each other as the problems. Um, but seeing each other collectively as the solution.